A lot of fun. The Undercurrents Festival is coming February 7th at, at one location primarily. I will get to that uh, in moments. First, we have Gabby Lazarovitz with us. Nice to see you, Gabby. Hi, nice and to be here. So you're with the Little Boxes Collective, but you've also got a show called Little Boxes. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that in moments. Uh, not to be outdone, we have uh, Kevin Loring with us as well, Artistic Director the Savage Society, a co-producer on the Pipeline Project, and Artistic Director with the Indigenous Theatre at the National Arts Centre. Whew! <laughs> That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. So Pipeline Project is going to be taking place as well, and that kicks off February 7th at the Arts Court. That's correct. All right, okay. Gabby, let's let's begin with you, shall we? We'll go back and forth. We've got two amazing plays here we want to uh, talk about. Uh, so Little Boxes. Now, you are with the Little Boxes Collective, and now we've got a play called Little Boxes. So, yes. so what, what, I'm guessing they're, they're related somehow. They are. So uh, Kevin and I were talking about grant writing, which is a really big part of being a theatre artist in Canada. And they ask you to put the name of your company on your grants. So this is the first play that I've ever written. And I wrote it with a gentleman named Brad Long. Yeah. And I didn't feel like writing Gabriella Zarvitz productions, so Little Boxes Collective. Uh, okay. I like that. Became a I thing. like that. <laughs> Probably easier for people to say as well. Yeah, exactly. Your last name can be a <laughs> bit of a challenge. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's a, a lifelong challenge. Yeah, no, <laughs> but I think we got it for sure. Thank so, you're great. Um, is is this the first time that you're involved with Undercurrents? Uh, is this the first time? I'm, yes, I've been in their underdevelopment program, okay. which is funded by Trillium. Okay. And they take uh, mostly plays from their recommender grants, so people write in to ask for funding for ideas for plays, which is what Brad and I did. And so we received funding from that program from Undercurrents. Mm -hmm. So we were in their underdevelopment program for the last couple of years. Interesting. So we haven't had a show there, but we've been in a relationship with them for a okay, while. So you must be excited to have the show. I'm very excited. Okay. It's yeah, three so, year process. <laughs> yeah, so four shows for you and yours kick off on uh, February 8th. Yes. And it's gonna be taking place at the Arts Court. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about your performance, your show. Sure. Uh, it is a play that explores moral gray zones. So, you know, our world's kind of binary right now. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of nuance in every seemingly um, easily divided issue. So it's about a couple. They're a millennial couple. She is a student who's trying to become a professor. And she's working a couple of jobs on the side to support that. And her husband has lost his job and mm -hmm. they're struggling financially. And they live in the suburbs and they have these neighbors that they view as a little trashy. Okay. And they have all of these judgments about them. And one night they accidentally hit those neighbor's child. And the entire mm. play sort of takes place in the couple of minutes after they hit the child and how they sort out how to deal with the situation. Wow. Yeah. That sounds pretty deep. It's, <laughs> it's can be deep. It's a little heavy. Yeah, <laughs> heavy. Mm. Uh, now, is, is it family friendly, though? Because you've said a few things there that are kind of. Yeah, it absolutely is family friendly. There's, you know, a couple of cuss words. But other than that, I yeah. think that it's a uh, it's a play that really explores uh, what happens to you when you don't have the financial security to always necessarily make the obviously right decisions. So, okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting for kids to explore that as well. I can imagine. <laughs> uh, the Pipeline Project. Okay, so Kevin, your show is kicking off on the 7th at uh, Arts Court. Now, um, is this a, pay, a play about pipelines? What, what is this all about? Well, it's, it's, it's more than that, actually. The pipelines were sort of the jumping off point. It was uh, initially inspired by the impending uh, Northern Gateway Pipeline that was going to go to the north coast of British Columbia. And that was the sort of the, the instigator of, of us coming together to write this play. Uh, but it's really about all of our attachment to oil and oil being really the sort of basis of our culture. Uh, and it uh, get, gets into indigenous land claims, it gets into our personal culpability, our personal habits and how that impacts. And it, it sort of mushrooms out from there into more about uh, our greater sort of environmental impact as a species. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, it starts with pipelines, but it, it really expands into all of our lives. Okay. Uh, now, the show is created in British Columbia? Yeah. Okay. And now, so, sorry, did you create the show? Uh, I'm a co-writer on co it. There's writer. three co-writers, and we're, we're also the actors in it, and I also co-produced it. Okay. So, you got a lot of hats? I, I have a lot of hats. So, so why <laughs> did you decide to bring this to Ottawa? Obviously, to be a part of this very cool festival, but other reasons? Well, Ottawa is the, well, to be a part of the festival, for sure, but Ottawa is the center of the country politically, right? And so, an issue that involves indigenous land claims, it involves pipelines, are dependence on oil, oil infrastructure, uh, climate change, 
all of these things are immediate and deeply political. The play is, it gets into some really deep political mm -hmm. issues in a very personal way. And so it's the three of us trying to come together to write a play about the pipeline. So that's mm -hmm. why it's called The Pipeline Project. And then it, it mushrooms out into all of our environmental impacts and our personal culpability and how we're all uh, in relationship with oil uh, okay. in, a, in a very everyday, meaningful way. Right? Okay. Yeah. How many characters would you have in this play? There's, well, there's multiple characters, there's, uh, but there's three main characters three who... Three main characters. Yeah, okay. three main characters, we, and we uh, sort of argue about this, this issue and align ourselves with each other on this issue and okay. yeah, try to find our way through it. By yeah. writing a play. Yeah. No, no, it sounds exceptional, and, and I know that this uh, this uh, festival, uh, the Undercurrents Festival, has been uh, going. It's the eighth year that uh, that, 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 that we have these exceptional plays going on. So, uh, Gabby, to find out more about uh, your play and uh, Kevin, I guess we'd go to the website. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. So sure. was that, and it's four showings for each of your plays. Yes. Yes. Okay. So once again, yours kicks off, Gabby, on the eighth. Kevin, yours kicks off on the seventh. Mm -hmm. We look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for being here. I'm afraid we're all, all out of time. We could have talked all day. Yes. But that's just the way it works sometimes here on Daytime Ottawa.